Welcome guys to another video. I am absolutely super excited for this because this is the definition of ultimate no compromise gaming. That's right. So um, as you may or may not be aware, gaming or buying a gaming PC right now is virtually impossible. It's getting a little better to be fair, but buying a graphics card, um, some CPUs are a little hard to buy. So I did... <laughs> The opposite and something that I've been recommending to people friends who've been asking me I bought a gaming laptop so here we have Republic of Gamers uh, this is honestly so powerful it might actually eat me um, <laughs> this has got all the specs uh, let me see is there another box in here is there a second box <laughs> the weight man that is a heavy D-boy. Okay, so the specs here. I had to make sure I wasn't making this up. This is absolutely insane. So it's got a Ryzen 9 5900 HX GeForce RTX 3080. Now it's the mobile variant, so it's not going to be as powerful as the full fat version, but in a laptop? It's got 32 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD, and of course, two screens. What? Ah, you didn't see that coming, did you? So this actually arrived a week ago. Uh, but for those of you that did not watch the video that I posted not too long ago, I'll link to it. Um, I mentioned I got married. So I've been a bit busy. <laughs> haven't had the chance to actually break into this. So I am excited to see this laptop. Now, interestingly, on the front here, we can see that. Uh, so we've got the ROG kind of logo, it's kind of like reflective there, but also down the bottom there, I need to catch the light. Dying light too on the bottom. You see that? Pretty interesting. So what's going on here? We've got a little pool tab. Dude, whoa, look at this. You see that? Oh, my. now this is premium. <laughs> oh, we're gonna put that to one side. So let me just check what's in here. So we've got what looks like a package full of paperwork. So we've got a little bit of information there. We've got a Dying Light 2 uh, free game code, which is pretty neat. Before we go any further. Oh, is that magnets? Love magnets. Uh, so this is the power supply. Oh my. <laughs> it's no surprise this power supply is an absolute chongus because these components require some freaking power. But right, here we go. So this right here is a really nice, I have to say, little wrist red. It's kind of like a rubbery kind of feel to it. Let's check it out, right? Let's move this. This is a really nice. Everything about this is nice. I've not even got to the laptop yet. It's just nice. All right, so let's check out the laptop. Wow. I can say it's, I, I always say it in videos and it makes people laugh. Oh, it's really heavy, but <laughs> if you if you held it, you'd know what I mean. It's uh, well, it's heavy. Oh, wow, noise! Wow, okay. So along the front here, I got to say the materials feel absolutely delicious. It's all feels like metal. Premium to the max, guys. So a bit of the information here. Um, it says here, ROG Zephyrus Duo 15SE, which is this particular model. Uh, I've got it in the configuration. There's two configurations. There's the 4K 120 Hertz monitor variant, but there's the more competitive gamer SKU, I think, which is the 1080p, but 300 Hertz monitor, which is absolutely bananas, which is what I've gone for. So we've got the New cooling system for the two screens. I'll show you that in a minute. We've got the 300 hertz adaptive screen monitor, uh, liquid metal thermal compound. So that's the CPU and the cooling system connected with liquid metal, which means better thermals. 90 hour watt battery, 100 watt USB-C charging, Dolby Atmos, and oh my goodness. Oh my, that. That is beautiful. That is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, 
You guys got to see this. So when you close the lid, let me just get a bit of this action for you. That second screen comes up. So you've got a touch screen on the bottom and then a 1080p 300 hertz gaming monitor on the top. Wow. Let's look at the ports. So along the back side here, we've got a ethernet port, a USB uh, A port and a HDMI port. I believe it's 2.0. We've got a micro SD port on the side, power input and a microphone headphone port. And then on the other side, we've got two USB A ports, both, uh, it says SS10, which I believe is the 3.1 variant uh, rating. I have to double check that, but super fast USB-C, USB A, sorry, and then a USB-C, which is one of the main reasons why I picked this up, because not only does this do charging, but it also, for me, um, does display port. So you can have USB-C to display port um, if you want to set up a second monitor. That's what I've gone for, but man, it is gorgeous. I want to turn it on. We got to see those screens. Uh, I will be doing a review of this. So if you want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. So the way this is configured, you, it does, like I said, I showed you earlier, it comes with this little wrist rest. Do you put the wrist rest in front and then you've got the little trackpad on the side, although you're probably using a mouse, I'll be using a mouse. And then you've got the keyboard which with the wrist rest actually feels really nice. You've got so much real estate. Oh man, hey, look, it's mwah, premium, premium, premium. So a lot of people, the reason why, one of the reasons why I wanted to make a video on this laptop in particular is because a lot of people are actually deciding, you know what, gaming laptops before, maybe a bit of a gimmick, you would never really get in the performance you could get out of a desktop. But now they're getting so good at, getting performance out of these laptops that it's kind of like, it's kind of almost a no brainer. Like <laughs> you don't need to buy a desktop for good performance anymore. And this laptop is certainly zero compromises. All right, I need to plug this in, which is super annoying. Oh, we got power. It's working, <laughs> it's working. A lot of people might argue, Okay, this is a high-end laptop. Why have you gone 1080p? Number one, the hertz rate. So it's 300 hertz, which is loads. But also, when it's only this size, I think 1080. I think you can get away with 1080p. I'm not saying it's perfect. Would have probably preferred a quad HD. But I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at it now, and it looks good. It actually looks pretty good. There you go. I know that was bothering some of you. So this laptop is, for all intents and purposes, top of the range. And there's one thing that I'm already annoyed about. And <laughs> it's not going to bother everyone, but it bothers me. And that is the stickers are not bubble, guys. I'll, I'll try and get some footage of it to show you. But the stickers aren't bubble, and that is driving me insane already. So if... <laughs> If there was something that I was going to mark this down for, it would be that. Okay, first, I'm going to say it every time this happens on this channel. This laptop comes with McAfee. I'm insulted. Get that piece of nonsense off of my laptop. Okay, so there you go. That is the beauty. So you've got a 1080p 300 hertz screen up here. You've got an also a second screen which I'm not entirely sure of the resolution. It doesn't look particularly high, um, but it's going to be perfect for loading up Discord, Spotify, or maybe if you're in a game and you want a wiki or something, or maybe, you know, you're taking notes or something. It's perfect. You've got that dual screen ability in a form factor, which is just one laptop, which is awesome. Okay, so the res I've just looked it up. The resolution of the bottom screen is 1080 it's the same. So it's 1080p on the top, 1080p on the bottom. But obviously, because it's a smaller screen, it's 1920 by 550. You know, makes a lot of sense in terms of like the display and stuff. But obviously, the hertz rate is probably going to be 60, I'd imagine. We can actually have a look at that. Oh, it feels so much smoother. And the second display is, yeah, 60 hertz. Okay, that's fine. We're not playing games on it. But the 300 hertz is so very smooth. Oh, it looks so good. It's got some really, I'll have to show you in B-roll, but it's got a really interesting way of navigating when you've got stuff, because the bottom screen is touchscreen. 
and you've got some controls that come up that allow you to pop it and expand it or um you know it's pretty decent crab rave all right that's 50 percent. that's pretty respectable to be fair i'm gonna put it up to 100 percent Pretty good. I feel like I can have it on like 30-40% of the volume and be satisfied that I can hear everything. I obviously it's not the thickest sound, but I really hesitate to say that because I don't want you to get the wrong impression. These sound pretty good. Obviously, today I would have shown you a lot of B-roll and stuff, hopefully, if I haven't yell at me in the comments, but it's a fine looking machine, guys. You got the two screens, it's productivity, it's gaming, 300 hertz monitor, 3080, eight core overclock processor. I mean, what more do you want, guys? <laughs> what more do you want? It's honestly pretty fantastic. I love, I will say just before we go, like in terms of like the materials and stuff, really nice. It feels like um, I don't know what what it is, but it feels like a like a metal all the way around this. Like I feel like I can't find any plastic. Um, the f main display might be a little bit dim uh, for my liking, um, but I am under studio lights, so I'll be interested to see how I feel like when I'm out of that environment. But in terms of this, is good. I'm impressed. But like I said, stay tuned for the full review in depth. We're going to do two videos. We're going to do a review, but first of all, we're going to do a games benchmark. So we're going to be checking out all the games. Uh, I want to try GTA 5, although that will probably be 110 frames a second because every game seems, every PC seems to run out of that frame rate, regardless of specs. Uh, you've got, I want to try Microsoft Flight Simulator. Don't know if I'll bother with Cyberpunk, honestly. Um, but if you have a game in mind, Battlefield, if you have a game in mind you want me to try on this, uh, FPSs would be really good because, like I say, you've got 300 hertz to play with. Top of the line. Absolutely ecstatic. Great packaging. Great unboxing experience. And um, whew, I'm going to go play some games. See you later.